You like that intro? It goes hard, right? How is it going, bros? My name's PewDiePie, and today, bros, we're gonna be drawing people's avatars in Roblox spray paint. Uh, by the end of this video, I will have drawn upwards of 15 avatars, so you're in for a banger. Other than that, you know the drill, just your generic Roblox art content. So let's play some video games. Hopefully before we start, we see some good art. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a sign. It's a sign we should go into the pro server. It's very recommended that you do that to uh, avert your eyes from very, very naughty, naughty things. Exhibit A. All right, we're in this bitch. Oh, this is pretty neat. It's the big goth dommy mommy from Resident Evil. I'm not sure why the, the art is so jittery though. The hardest part with starting a video like this is always finding the first person to draw because I'm shy. This guy looks stupid, but in a good way. I think I'll draw him without even asking. Oh no, he sees me drawing him. And just like that, we got one easy avatar down. Can I draw you? Yes, please. Let's go, we're gonna mutually draw each other. I like to draw a diverse variety of avatars. So now we can check Emo Boy off the bingo card. What do you think so far? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean by laughing at his artwork, it's just... It looks demented. I can't get the detail on the hat. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. You're banned. JK. Baki ended up leaving. He didn't really give a cool reaction. Anybody want to be drawn? Me! Something you'll notice about the way I draw these avatars is that once I translate the rough character design and the colors into the game, I usually call it there without adding much more detail. Just takes up too much time to do that. Really? Yo, can I draw you real quick? Yeah, I'll draw you too. This guy's avatar is actually really fun to draw. It looks like a more dripped out anime version of Dream. Not that Dream has any drip. That dude's face reveal gives me nightmares. This actually goes really, really hard. I like how hot pink he made me. I'ma just color him in real quick and see what he thinks. Really, I can't see it. Are you on safe mode? Might be. Oh my god, bro. Oh, he's freaking out, man. <laughs> he really, really likes it. Jesus Christ almighty, this is beautiful. He, he, thank you. Damn. So here we got an incognito detective from Reddit. I don't know why he strikes me as a Redditor. It's probably the fedora and the outdated cat meme on his shirt. But uh, here you go, this one turned out good. Thank you, 10 out of 10. No problem, man, thank you. Now we're on to our first furry. No, he drew me a scuffed border, it looks terrible. And I'm, I'm gonna need that space too, so. I, I don't like it when people take liberties like that. What if I wanted more space? If you're one of my loyal 50 subscribers, then you'll probably know that I already made a video like this about a week ago. This isn't really like a part two to that video. I'm just trying to experiment with like how to inject personality into a video. Because if you haven't seen the first one, I, I literally had no talking in it. It was just text to speech. So let me know if you like me talking over the speed paint aspects of the video or if you want me to shut the fuck up and just let the music play. Either way works for me. Just whatever makes the best content. Yo! I got animated. He animated me. That looks cool. I look hot. While I was drawing this guy, some dude was asking if he could like draw in the teeth. And I told him yes, because I'm too scared to tell people no. But then some other dude saw that as permission to color in the wrong colors as they please on my drawing without asking. So just a tip on being a rational Roblox drawer. If you want to help somebody draw a picture, then you should probably ask them. <laughs> for permission. Yo, it's my favorite YouTuber, the Flea. I, I think that's what that is. What is where does this lead? Oh my god. They snuck a little a little dude over here. Hold on, I'm gonna leave my mark. <laughs> I'm content with that. Whee! Anime Dream never gave me a body. So I, I went ahead and took that liberty. It's pretty accurate to real life I'd say. He's griefing my art, how dare he? I'll never in my life see the appeal to griefing other people's art for a few reasons. Number one, if you're in a pro server, you're gonna get instantly kicked for griefing, so there's no point. Number two, there's safe mode, which if you don't know, when enabled safe mode will make everybody else's art vanish, so again, it makes griefing pointless. Not to bother, but can you draw me after that? Of course, no bother at all. 
And number three, like how, how is it even fun? Wouldn't it be more fun to just make cool art instead of drawing swastikas and messing up people's art for like five seconds? That still even happens in pro servers, which is mind boggling to me because like, did they idle for 20 hours on their account just to make it into pro servers so they, they can grief? If so, that's dedication, but dedication to a really sad cause, I suppose. Lol, it's so good. I think that when I eventually do another spray paint drawing avatars video, I think I'm going to draw less avatars but make them more detailed so I can just focus on being more entertaining like within the footage instead of relying on editing commentary over the speed paints. You know, just to experiment, see what I prefer. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, uh, someone's TF2 pilling the server. Hopefully one day I can find a really cool format for this type of content. I'm not sure how well this one's going to turn out, but I'm trying my best. I mean, in theory, as long as the art's good and it, you know, it's edited compactly and makes some nice brain rot, it should be entertaining, which is ultimately the goal. But yeah, just, just let me know how you feel about that, my loyal 50 subscribers. Yo, that clown goes hard. All of that goes hard. I love that. This guy's good. I think my favorite thing about Roblox spray paint is seeing other people's artwork next to yours. It's like the meeting of two different people's worlds. And also it's just really comfy drawing with other people, as opposed to like drawing by yourself on Photoshop. This guy's art style is actually cool as fuck. Yo, this goes crazy. Thank you so much. I also really like how the whole map is like a blank canvas and it was designed with like a lot of flat surfaces. Just watching it fill up with awesome art is really satisfying. Makes me happy, makes me smile. Made me happy, made me smile. Okay, so these two guys decided to draw graffiti all over like seven hours worth of drawing, which yeah, I was on the server for seven hours doing this, despite it being like a 10 minute video. And the graffiti looks good, which is why they weren't getting vote kicked. I think they were protesting how much space I was taking up, which is fair. I am taking up like a lot of space, but my rebuttal to that would be like, look at all the other space there is that's not taken up. Why can't you just draw there? So that just leads me to believe that they're douchebags. And I'm gonna teach you how to deal with this type of griefing. All you gotta do is just max out the amount of layers you have and drag your art layers all the way to the tippy top. And pretty much every time, at least one of your layers will be above the griefing. Look, they're already fucking off. La la la, later bitch, later bitch. Anyways, before we end it, I believe there's one more thing that must be done. Yeah, anime dream left, so the, the body I drew was left by itself. So I went ahead and gave it the default Roblox head, as, as I should. Well, my loyal bro army, we did it. We drew 17 avatars. We did it, not just me, it was all of us. You've earned yourself a bro fist, bros. Go ahead, put your fist on the screen. I'll put mine on the screen too, there. Sensational, exceptional even. Okay, bye. Thank you.